Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Going through some more of the fungi mines where everything is mushrooms, which is good. Like that. Let's keep going with Tally's or Tailey's Toxic Pond. Tailey's. Anyway. I'd also probably recommend the sensor badge for this specific level, probably. Okay. Got some poison goop below us. We also have these tailies. Also, there's a hidden block there, apparently. Feels like there's just more here than meets the eye. I don't know how. Oh, hang on. I know how. We've got these tailies that we can use as... Uh, I don't know. We can grab onto them and they can help us get up to places. Also, that did not get me up where I thought it was going to get me to. Because it doesn't just go up the wall, it goes out. So how are you supposed to get the thing there? Unless there's a hidden block. I don't see no hidden block. It's fine. Anyway, there's a secret here apparently. If we get this to move, yes. But we can swing on the tailies to get around. We also take them out when we do that, so we have to be careful moving around, taking them out, to get to secrets. Okay, swing, swing. I'm all alone now. <laughs> and down we go. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. But I believe there's another secret round that is a lot, a little bit harder to find. I believe it's the Wonder Flower, which is why I put the sen sensor badge on, so I can find that easier. Like, it's not the worst thing to find, I just had trouble with it last time, so I want to make sure I get it this time. Okay, here. I think we have to take out these enemies, yeah. Two to go, one to go. I don't know how I missed that the first time. Time for a quiz! Which flower takes you into the sky? Uh, propeller flower. Got a little quiz here. There's a lot of questions, though. What world can you see north of the Petal Isles? Uh, Fluff Puff Peaks. Like, there's a lot of questions, so you keep trying and you'll eventually get it. Uh, Expert Chase to the Shining Falls Midway Trial. What was it? Uh, Jumping? Yes, I'm surprised I got that first try. There's a lot, like, I I struggled with that the first time through because there was a lot more questions than the ones that I got shown there. Also, I'm just going to travel through the ceiling to get things, except I want those. No! Got it. Because they drop their things to take out the blocks. Make the blocks do things. Also, I definitely want that. Go through. I believe. Just just run for it and it works. And that's everything. Pretty good run through of that level. Surprised. Also, a uh, Nabbit block. Okay, I need to get this first try. Except I also want to go up, I think. Up to the secret. And it just works. Just get a few extra flower coins. I really love the theming of these levels. <laughs> like, I really love them. It's so good. Why is this game so good? Oh, that's a secret. That explains why that wasn't appearing as a... a level. Break time, trotting piranha plants. Gonna definitely take that off now. Another classic. There was such a good song as well. But anyway, we need to take out the enemies by jumping from underneath them. No thing? Okay. I 
feel like you have to do a certain jump off of the thing to get things to spawn, but maybe I'm wrong. I love the coin bit as well at the end. It's just so good. How is it so good? <laughs> so nostalgic, and it's just a free Wonder Seed as well. <laughs> Another Wonder Flower, nice. No, Flower Coin. I know what I'm talking about. It's fine. Beware of the rifts. Well, that doesn't sound safe. I mean, it's probably fine, but it doesn't sound safe. Well, we've got rifts to deal with now. Probably want to avoid touching that. If we can. Fire flower. Oh, bad stuffs. This is very Celeste, and I like it. It'd be interesting to see what they actually designed it around, or based it on, because it's usually quite interesting to see what companies and studios base things on. And how it's... yeah. It's, it's usually a lot of stuff that I know. <laughs> like, when I, at least when I've seen it, be references to other things and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that better. Basically, there's a one texture in a thing they saw, which was apparently based on the Metal Mario from Super Mario 64, and I think that's just really cool that that's what they wanted to aim for with that. Okay, so the shell can actually go through the rift. That's good to know. Oh boy. Why do I feel like this is a bad place to stand? It just feels like the void is going to creep around us. Oh, like that. Also, I see that. How do I reach? I mean, probably with the shell, because I can just toss that up, but also, that works too. Okay, checkpoint. Power block. That was cool. <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about all these rifts. Somebody's scared, apparently. Up that way. If we can figure out how to get up there. Which is probably connected to this block here. Yep, there's a vine. Not even from a block. That's really cool that they can just do that. Imagine if Super Mario Maker adds the... The, the flowers. They could just do that. That would be crazy. Just like custom switches and levels. I'm here for you, bro. Also, are you like a mouth thing, or are you like a funnel thing? If I talk into you, is that weird? Should I, should I just talk into this spot right here? Is this weird? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, it's fine. Okay. Dropping a whole bunch of stuff, and a 10 coin. Nice. Bye, friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no, but let me just talk into this mouth again. I'm here, hello. I just want to talk into them for some reason. Anyway, let me just hit this a whole bunch. Get the 10 coin before it goes into the abyss. It looked like it was going to, if I didn't hit the block enough. Uh, but anyway, it's got some donut blocks, which I think is fine. How do I get up? If I'm supposed to get up. There's something going on here. Oh, it's Wonderflower time. Here we go. Oh, that makes sense. So we're gonna hit that. Just stun. And stuff. Oh, it's all turned into enemies. That's actually really cool. That's good theming. They're just all rift now. Like, all the enemies are rift because they... They always were. But anyway. I kinda wanna go down and get this stuff. Oh, please. I'm surprised that worked as well as it did. Also, we can just keep hitting these power blocks, apparently. It's good to know. Okay, just keep moving. I've missed something somewhere. Got that one, and there's the last one. Power block. Got it. This is a really cool Wonder Seed 
power thing. Mud flower. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's just a power up. We don't need it. It's not even going to give us anything. No points or anything. I think that's everything in here. I think this is the exit we want. If there is any other exit, I'm, I think this is probably the only one. Hit that for the pipes and get the top. Very nice. There's so many different mushrooms here. Another secret. I think that's all the fog cleared out now, so that means that this should be the last bit to deal with. Then we can go deeper into the... the mines. Tumble house. Let's see what this is all about. Oh boy. Hit the switch, and we're tumbling. We're... We're rotating everything. Just keep moving. Oop. Is this where I'm supposed to be? I think so. Okay, up, up. Just keep going up. Okay, this is good. This is quite a good one. That, get all the things, and we're out of here. That was a really good one. Just had to navigate through the rotating level. Okay, I think that's everything up here, so we can start heading down. Starting with a checkpoint. An uncharted area, Wubba Ruins. Oh, and it's raining. I like rain. Rain is good. I really love rain. I cannot express how much I love rain. But anyway, we've got this slime here, which kind of is like water, but slimier. We can also just press A to, or the jump button to swim in the direction that we're going in a little bit faster. And I think we have to ground pound on top of the slime to actually go through it. Because otherwise it's just a platform. So it's a really cool addition to the fluids in the game. Gonna get you. Ooh, so slimy. Hello. Hello. Why do they care so much about how things taste? Am I crazy? Maybe. Seems like that comes up a lot. Also, the background is so cool. I didn't. I don't think I noticed the background much last playthrough. Or maybe I just looked at it and didn't think much of it. I, I should have because that looks so cool. It's just all ruins and slime. Okay. Slime! Also, this thing is gonna crush through all the slime and destroy it. I don't think it matters that much if it does that, though. Yeah, it just comes back. Don't think it's gonna reveal anything by doing that, but we do need to be careful of them. Come on, slam over here. Grab that. And let's go. Out. Okay, lots of blocks that we can hit by just swimming underneath them. And this bubble. This one's the, probably the hardest one I've seen. If I'm not mistaken. I had a lot of trouble with that last time I did that, so... Also, I see that pipe, so let's go in the pipe. A little bit risky, but it's fine. Lots of goo. Do we need to take them out? Yes, we do. Good to know. Nice job. Boy, where'd that voice come from? Also, everything around us is slime. It's pretty cool. 
I just hear the voice of my old friend, the flower. Good job. I don't know how I knew that was there, but I definitely knew that was there. Just a hidden yellow toad block. I don't know. No, it should be hidden. It was hidden for me, so yeah. Hit that for me. I, I missed. There we go. There's the wonder flower. So let's go pick that up. And become one with the slime. We are now a slime. We can now go along the walls and through tunnels. This is very nostalgic of, um, drawn to life the next chapter for me. It's a classic, trust me. Why do you- why do they keep doing that? Also, we are sliming through the slime. Sliming through the slime. This is probably one of the best one of our effects. They're all so good though. What flavor are you? They keep asking. Ow, oh! We do also shrink when we take damage. So I kinda want to take out some of these if I can. Oh, that's gone. <laughs> Never mind. Also, that thing smiles when it comes crashing down. That's creepy. Get out of the hole. I don't think I can get my health back, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to keep going and hopefully live. Also, it's weird changing gravity. Because I think you still have to keep... No, you do have to change direction, but it might depend on the surface that you're on. This is so cool, though. I love this. Okay, that was an interesting maneuver. Uh, let's try it this way. Why did you just slurp me as I went past? Don't do that. <laughs> I did not give you permission to do that. A little secret stash of coins. And the Wanna Seed. This is such a cool effect. I love it. I'd love to see that in multiplayer though. <laughs> I've not seen that, but that'd be interesting to just to see all the players sliming their way around the screen. Okay, this is interesting. Not missing anything, but I think there's still something this way. Just a coin, okay. Makes sense. Now, can I? Yes, I can. Nice. You kind of jump out of the slime automatically. Somewhat. I didn't do anything special to just get out of the slime and jump at the same time. It might help if you're swimming fast through the slime. Very nice. Hey! There you are! Incredible, you found your way through the, that place on your first visit. I usually get lost. So it looks like you've discovered the way forward. I'll catch up with you at the next ruins. I wonder if there was a fake end flag that I didn't find. Possibly. Oh, that's right. I got this one-up mushroom while working in the mines earlier. Please take it. I'm sure it will help. Thanks, bro. Let's go deeper. And go down a side path. Badge challenge grappling vine one. This one is really cool. This is a cool badge. Like a really cool badge. While in midair, press R or shake the controller to launch a vine that can grab a wall. We are spider toad now. <laughs> we can kind of infinitely wall jump off of a wall if we do it right. Because we can just grapple and get around so well. Also, what do you have to say? Okay, I will. <laughs> Shall do. Also, we kind of grab automatically onto the top of the thing if we do it right, I think. Yeah, if we get on the edge when we keep holding the direction, it keeps moving us up. This is so cool. So cool. Now, I want to get that, so let's jump across. Excellent. Up there looks tasty. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I mean, they're kind of right. Colored li liquid in or slime in video games does look kind of tasty. Okay. Up we go. Got moving blocks now. We can kind of cling onto the blocks. I don't know if we can cling on them for a long time, though, is the thing. 
I think we do eventually slide like that, yeah. Oops, <laughs> I missed. There we go, that's what we want to see. Got all the 10 coins. This is definitely a good badge to get. I don't know what we can really use it for, but we can also use it on the flagpole to get to the top, if we do it right anyway. That's so cool. And then we have that badge to use in the rest of the world. Nicely done, and we got the badge you just used as a gift. Want me to wear it? Yes, please. I'd like to try it out a little bit more. Just to see what it's like in these levels that it's around. Okay, also that is just a dead end. I'm sure there's just going to be another Poplin to talk to here once we do this level, but it's a little bit strange. Another uncharted area. Swaying ruins. I remember having a little bit of trouble with one of the secrets in this level. I might not, it not, might not matter, but I don't know. But anyway, we've got these platforms that twist and turn. And these platforms that also slide along them. Oh, and you. <laughs> also have you to deal with. Probably should have actually kept him alive so I could bounce off of him, but it's fine. Oh boy. That's not good combination. Grab it. Pull. Ow. There we go. We do have to be a little bit careful though around some of this stuff. Okay, there's a 10 coin. <laughs> That's dipping in and out of the void. Goop. Death. I don't even know how to describe that. Okay, good thing I have that badge. <laughs> just to make sure I grab a lot of things. Also, we can just infinitely climb the walls as well. So... Just need to keep that in mind. Ah, uh, what's in this hidden block? One up. In the brick one, which makes sense. That's how you really hide a secret. You hide it where you're not expecting the secret to be. And put it next to the one where you are expecting it to be. Now, I want to hit this block if I can. Get some extra coins. Oh, so these blocks seem very happy about sliding around. Thank you. We could also use our grapple if we needed to. This is a lot of twisting and turning. Okay. Another bubble flower. Thank you. I don't know how that would help us much, but it's probably good. Also, there's definitely a secret in there. Yeah, there's the last 10 coin. Let's just try and get in there. And not get crushed by these things. Up we go. Oh, this is a whole thing. Like, the whole thing. Gonna pull this if I can. Had to wait for the... Oh, boy, bubble. This is fine. Got it, somehow. Like I said, those are tricky. Somewhat. Now let's get into this door. Okay. Everything's good. Now for the madness to begin in a moment here. Oh, we have to activate the turning. Interesting. So I wanted to grab that, thank you. Although I might want to have kept it in my life, I don't know. But we can make that slide, which actually makes them slide off. So we have to be careful about that, because we might need them for something. Okay, there's nothing here. If I can activate that. Does this go... Oh, I think I wanted. I want to be on this one. Because when it gets to the edge here, it goes off. And I can get into this door. That's the missable thing that I had trouble with last time. And there's the Wonder Flower. We just need to get to it before it gets off the edge or something. I think it's probably fine. I think it goes into a pit, but no, it doesn't go into the off the edge. Let's grab it. 
Oh my goodness, we're sliding. So much sliding. Sliding on the group and the bouncing. On the bouncers. Oh my goodness, it just made us go up. I didn't have to do anything to get up. I was really trying to get some more of these coins, but it's really difficult. Ah. It's fine. Just keep sliding. Oh. Guess we can kind of jump more, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, we're sliding. Oh boy, this feels unsafe. Very unsafe. Hello. Bounce. 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 Just keep bouncing. Oh, it's going back and forth. Okay. Let's grab it. Touch the thing. Okay. How's that done? Where's this gonna take us? Please don't take me to my death. Oh, that's the flagpole. Good jump. Also, does that mean that we would have found the fake flagpole if we didn't get the secret? I think that's what it was. I might just double check that. Because I think there are a lot more fake ends in these mine levels. In the ruins. And I think the poplin tells you, like, Ah, you did a good job. Better try again if you don't get the right exit. There you are. Incredible, you found the way through that place on your, ver on your first visit. I usually get lost, so it looks like you've discovered the way forward. The last of the m ruins should be up ahead. Oh, that's right. Got this one-up mushroom while working in the mines earlier. Please take it, I'm sure it will help. I wonder if that's tied to getting the right exit. I would assume so. Also, we can activate this platform, which makes this just go back and forth, which probably would not help towards getting the secret exit. But it's fine. There's a lot of extra stuff here that I didn't see. But yeah, this is, uh, exit. That is just not the exit. It was right before the exit as well. And I guess getting the actual exit requires actually getting the one flower. Each time, probably. Because that's what happened in the last one as well. Anything you to say? Nope, okay. Anyway, let's go down this pipe. See what else is in the world. Also, we can actually see the pipe movement. Love that. Oh, interesting. Got a KO arena. I'll come back to that in a moment, though. Want to do the last ruin. A final uncharted area. Poison Ruins. Four star difficulty. This is fine. We finally made it all the way down here. I can't thank you enough for all your help. I hope everyone's still okay. We need to be careful here. These are the last ruins and they could be really dangerous. Get bubbled. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> like, really cool. A lot of stuff to activate. So is there anything up? This way. There is. That doesn't even mean anything, does it? <laughs> Possibly not. Anyway. Let's activate this, and let's go. Oh, but it's going down. Hang on. Hold, please. How dare the low battery do this to me? Also, there was a thing to activate there. I missed it. That's probably fine. Also, hello, wall of poison. Also, why did that disconnect? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, this seems safe. Completely safe. Completely safe. Oh no. Oh no. Hit the thing. We need to go. We need to go. Oh boy, get in the hole. Not that I need to get in the hole, but it's fine. Also, I think there is 
a correct path to take. Also, there's a hidden block here. Can I actually walk on the invisible hidden blocks? I don't know. I'll find out later, probably. Uh, secret. Oh, secret. Ten coin. I don't know if I'm going to find the right exit first try. I think it's actually that way. But I'm going to maybe take the wrong exit first. Just to see what we're in for. Um, where is the platform? Oh, there it is. Still rising with the goop of death. The goop of death. I don't know why I'm hitting this block. I mean, I've got time. Nope, death. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Also, I think this is the recommended badge for this level. Probably. I think we ha actually have to use it for this actual exit, so... Like that... Um, careful. Very careful. You can actually walk on those blocks. Interesting. They could have a whole thing around that. Where if you have the right character, you can just get the secret. I mean, that might be the case. Possibly. Which one of these blocks is the right block? That one. I wonder if the group scales to where we're, where we're at, or if it just goes at a consistent rate. I assume it's at a consistent rate. I'm gonna ignore that this time. Go. Good that. Also, I think that was just the secret there, so I missed it or something. So where's the real thing then? Also, there's a daisy block. Anything else? No? Let's go up. This is definitely the wrong way. And I think I know what I might need to do. Where we'll go get to that. Once I figure out what I'm actually supposed to be doing. <laughs> so cryptic. Oh! Oh! Ah! That was the fake exit, but also we've managed to get to the real exit. I think it expects us to use the grapple for this. It also gives us the bubbles just in case. That makes so much sense. This level's really well designed. Because they give us the badge, but they also give us the bubbles and we can actually get up this way. Okay, cool. I didn't go the entirely wrong way. Also, I did go the wrong way because that's not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go this way. No? What am I supposed to do then? Nothing? Or maybe I wasn't actually supposed to get over the flagpole. <laughs> ah, I think I wasn't supposed to get over the flagpole is what it is, but that's fine. Let me see if I can get the top of the flag, because that's what I was actually trying to do. So we know that there's a secret exit at the real exit. Course clear, question mark? Need to find the Wonder Flower, and that will allow us to get through. Hey! Looks like you wound up back where you started. But I suspect from my years of working down here that there's another exit in Poison Ruins. Well, the situation calls for is using the sensor, sensor badge I, used, I gave you. Oh, that's right. I got this one up mushroom while working in the mines earlier. Please take it, I'm sure it will help. Thanks, bro. But also, I think I'm just gonna find the secret on my own without the badge. So we don't... It's not what I thought it was, but that would have been cool if it was. Let's, uh, go back in. But I think it's something near the start that we need to worry about. Because we already found what was up that way. It was not really anything. It was just telling us that only the chosen one will find the truth or something. Oh, there was the thing here. Can we actually grab that on the way down? Or is that impossible to move? I can't move. Okay. There's a bunch of things there, actually. So then what am I missing? Let's hit that. Avoid this if I can. 
Just gotta go semi slow, I guess. I don't know. Because I think there's a thing where if we just stay on the poison platforms, it will lead us up to something. I don't think this is the thing. That's just for that. This is just a shortcut that we're not supposed to take because that goes up that way. Oh, so that was a different block. That's actually different each time, I guess. Okay, so if we're over here, maybe, and we just wait, some point, perhaps, if we just stay here, I mean, until we can't stay here anymore, we can just stay here, basically, like now, uh, and that's actually gone, okay, so that's not where we need to stand. Or maybe we just need to stay at the very end of this longer than you think you're supposed to. That's Daisy Block. There it is. So we just wait here. Maybe? Maybe? Uh, maybe not? <laughs> but then what are we supposed to do? I thought that was it, to be honest. Or maybe... There it is. So you don't have to do anything special to find it, you just have to know where to look. Makes sense. That's a good secret spot, I guess. What lies beyond? We almost know. Let's slam our way through. This is so cool. Like, so cool. No, don't ground pound! Why did you do that? I did not mean to do that. Game. Good thing this secret thing is right here. The shook, the uh, checkpoint. Slime! I'm sliming. Let's a slime. <laughs> we can move ourselves so much. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I didn't just die. But like... Oh, we wobble. Let's go. We also have a lot of flower coins right now. Okay, don't press down ever. Except for now, when we have to go down. Okay, we're moving on the block. Risking it for the biscuit. So I think I want to be on this side probably so we can get across here. Hit that. There's another 10 coin. This is such a good effect. It, it like, and the music makes it feel so fun. They did such a good job with every bit of this. Through the tunnel. This is where the side path was. That we saw. Okay, I thought that was going to move into the poison, but it's fine. Up we go. I have a bad feeling about the poison. No, it's fine. It's just a bunch of extra coins I don't need. Through the tunnel. Into a new area. Grab these. If I can. Very galaxy-like, and I like that. I like that a lot. Take me up. And here we are. Oh my goodness. Need to get all the flowers though. There's one. Also there's a bunch of extra things we can pick up if we take our time. There's another flower. Also making the thing smaller, slowly. Containing all the energy inside of it. And there's a wanna seed. That's such a good. This has been a, such a good level. <laughs> Just wanna get this last thing here. Could also take a look at the rest of this room since it's quite big. It's so big. There we go. And this is the actual pipe that we saw earlier. Oh, that's really up. Filling up. 
That should be like escaping into the rest of the world. That's kind of bad. We kind of caused mayhem. Oh no, it's there. This is where it would be doing that. But it doesn't quite. Okay. Oh, we need to go. <laughs> there we go. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.